Hey guys, if you guys need your 12 and O's, domination, Evos, any sorts of online or offline grinding, be sure to hit up Rose NBA on Twitter. The link to his Twitter will be in the description down below. What is up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Here today, I'm going to be bringing you guys a video on how to make tokens in NBA 2K21, my team. If you guys do enjoy this video, do me a favor and drop a like on it. If you guys are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. We are on the road to 60,000 subscribers, so be sure to join that movement now. Now. Getting into the tokens here, this is going to be something that I think a lot of people are going to want to know. I'm leaving my screen up on the team because you guys can see that we already have one, two, and three diamond token players. So we are already pushing really far into the token market. And the best part about it is you guys are going to see right here, this has nothing to do with spending money at all. This is not me sitting here telling you, yeah, you know what? If you lock in collections, you'll get a bunch of tokens, blah, 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 blah. That is not what I'm here doing today. I'm telling you guys right now to only lock in two collections, but we're going to get in there. We're going to get there in just a second. So like I said, if you guys do enjoy this and it does help you out, be sure to drop a like on it. it would be greatly appreciated. And let's get right into it. So I made a video yesterday actually talking about domination and how many tokens it does give you in the grand total of like when you're done it with everything. Um, and domination actually gives you 642 tokens. That is by far the biggest reason why I've been able to make it so far in the boards and stuff like that. And I do really recommend grinding out domination. It is a little bit of a struggle, but obviously you can take your time with it. It's not really that big of a rush. You can't even get to the oval board right now. So honestly, just take your time doing domination. But domination is probably the number one way to get tokens, in my opinion, just because it does give you so many that it's well worth doing um and then on top of that you are getting a lot of good cards i already talked about it in that video though so i'm not gonna talk about that again but yeah domination gives you 642 tokens definitely the best offline mode to grind out and get some tokens as well some other single player modes that you can do is triple threat offline that does have the vault it does give you five tokens or one token if the vault actually opens but also as you're playing you guys will see you get one token here and there um, now triple threat offline. I didn't even realize this. They really don't even give you that many tokens like they do But I, I think you're more just getting lucky with the vault if anything because the most I think it gives you is like 15 Yeah, so the most that it gives you will be like 15 and then you have 10 and all that sort of stuff It probably gives you like I would say close to a hundred tokens. Maybe if that um, Maybe not honestly, but either way you can still grind it up for tokens But I do really recommend playing domination more than triple threat for those tokens now online modes unlimited i don't know if it gives you tokens or not i haven't really made it like that far obviously but i'm assuming at some point it does but um triple threat online now this is going to be the mode that if you don't want to play domination this is probably going to be the mode that you want to be grinding out the most to look into getting a lot of these tokens you guys can see there's a lot of opportunities to win these tokens already as you know rewards or whatever that thing is um, and on top of that when you actually go in the games or when you win a game Excuse me when you have the boards to like drop the balls on and stuff like that They always have token spinners and token spots on there So you're gonna be earning a lot of different tokens in a lot of different ways um, So again, you really just want to make sure that you guys are keeping up on this stuff to uh, you know Just try to win and get a lot of easy tokens So this next part of the video is gonna be probably the most important one here now, we're going to be talking about collections. Now, as I said before, I haven't spent any money on this game, and you guys can see that I've only locked in two collections. That is what you guys should do. Now, I don't recommend locking in a collection with an Amethyst. I just did it because it's my team, so whatever. But, um, yeah, you really want to lock in one collection from the West and one collection from the East. The reason why is when you lock it in, you guys do see that it gives you 10 tokens. Now, the Wizards were very cheap when I did it. So if you're looking to do that, I mean, go for it, I guess. The Wizards are probably still cheap. I think the only one that was expensive was Bonga, just because, you know, it's Bonga. But uh, yeah, outside of that, the Warriors, same thing. You guys can see you get 10 tokens for locking in each collection. So when you go over to the home screen here, you're going to go over to, I believe it's in Lifetime Agenda, which it is. And you guys can see it says Complete Collection. Now, when you complete one team from the East and one team from the West, it actually gives you 20 additional tokens. Now, this is something that was in the game last year. But this is actually really helpful for me because this is actually what allowed me to get my next two diamonds, basically. One of them pushed me right over the edge to be able to get another diamond. And then one of them actually put me five away, I believe, from getting another one. So... These are obviously really helpful. This is an additional 40 tokens. So depending on where you are, this could be really helpful for where you are. 
Um, I don't know why I just said it like that. But uh, yeah, like I said, I didn't even know that this was here. Um, and then I was just kind of looking through these. And I really do recommend you guys going through and looking through these agendas and stuff like that. It is a very helpful way to level up pretty quick. You guys can see I'm level 22. I'm about to level up again. Um, probably by the end of today, I'll be 25 or 26. Um, definitely on our way to get into my man Steph. You know what I'm saying? We're trying. We're grinding, but yeah, we'll probably be like right here, which conveniently enough is more tokens. So even paying attention to the XP boards, I mean, that's obviously pretty helpful. I don't know. There's what five tokens there. What was that three tokens? So there's another three tokens and, and one token. So you get tokens even on the XP boards, but mainly, like I said, you want to be focusing on triple threat online as your main game mode to grind. Um, and then the final two things that I want to actually talk about are locker codes and the events that are actually in um, the game. So one locker codes, we've had four, I believe already. I think we've actually had our fourth locker code, third or fourth. Um, and each one have had tokens on the board. So even if it's only one token, that's still an additional token that can kind of help you out. But you still want to be paying attention to, um, excuse me, you still want to be paying attention to these locker codes and taking advantage of those free tokens. Now, this is going to be super important as well. Today, Spotlight Challenges just came out. So depending on whenever you're seeing this video, obviously you guys can tell where I'm doing this. Um, these Spotlight Challenges just came out today. Now you guys can see, none of them are for tokens, but I highly recommend grinding these challenges out, obviously for the XP side of things. But also, when you come down here, it says earn one free token after every single challenge win. So you really wanna make sure that you're going ahead and doing these challenges in this time frame because it's gonna be giving you an additional token for every single game that you win. Now this doesn't just apply to spotlight challenges, this applies to weekly challenges, moments challenges, signature challenges, whatever you wanna do, it applies to those. And again, it's additional tokens that I don't think people understand how much they build up. Domination had one that was all day, every day, basically, I think for the entire weekend, I wanna say. Um, and I actually, I thought about it. I earned an additional like 60 tokens. So I earned that all. I earned a whole another diamond player from just grinding at the right time. And that's what you guys really want to pay attention to is when there is these events. So you can take advantage of these additional tokens and stuff like that. Like I said, I don't think there's anything else in here for tokens. I lied. As I say that I could see, uh, yeah, complete group. Yeah. So when you complete these two, you get a token. You complete these four, you get a token. Um, and then right here, you guys can see if you complete all these, this should be a little bit higher than 50 tokens. I feel like, cause you have to evil up two really, you know, pain in the ass kind of players. You have to get a pink diamond. Uh, yes, you have to do a lot of stuff for 50 tokens. I feel like that should at least be like a hundred maybe, but you guys can see even these have different, you know, um, even these have different, uh, token rewards and stuff like that. Um, and then we did talk about the lifetime ones here, 250 tokens. So that's actually pretty cool. When you complete everything, you get 250 tokens. I didn't even realize that, but that's actually really helpful for me because I'm obviously going to do that. Um, but yeah, so like I said, domination, definitely the best thing for me. Um, I, I went through and again, you guys saw, I did go ahead and grind out the entire thing. Um, I wasn't streaming it, but I did, um, like I did uh, stream it a little bit. So there is different videos and stuff like that on how to beat it for you guys. That's probably the most important thing because I know a lot of people are going to struggle with that. But yeah, like you guys can see, I have built this team. No money spent. Most of them are token cards. I mean, token card actually, well, not really because it's like, what, one, two, three. Yeah, only three of them are token cards. I lied. But other than that, though, I mean, even for domination, like this Cursey, Bob Dandridge, like they're all really solid players that I think you guys should definitely look into. So, yeah, again, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys did enjoy. Be sure to leave a like on the video if it did help you out. If you guys have any questions, feel free to comment them down below. I'm glad to help out whenever I can. If you guys are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. And with that being said, I will see you guys in the next video.